It was when Paro had let the people go that God led them not by the way of the land of the Polish team, although that was near, for God said, Lest perhaps the people repent when they see war, and they return to Methraim. But God led the people about by the way of the wilderness by the Red Sea, and the children of Israel went up armed out of the land of Methraim. And Moshe took the bones of Yosef with him, for adjuringly he had adjured the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones away hence with you. And they took their journey from Sukkot and encamped in Etham, in the edge of the wilderness. And Yahweh went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, that they might go by day and by night, the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night departed not from before the people. Shemot, Exodus, chapter 14. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Yisrael, that they turn back and encamp before Pihahiroth, between Magadol and the sea, before Baalistaphon. Over against it shall ye encamp by the sea. And Paro will say of the children of Yisrael, They are entangled in the land. The wilderness hath shut them in. And I will make strong Paro's heart, and he shall follow after them. And I will get me honor upon Paro and upon all his host. And the Methrim shall know that I am Yahweh. And they did so. And it was told the king of Methraim that the people were fled, and the heart of Paro and of his servants was changed towards the people. And they said, What is this we have done, that we have let Yisrael go from serving us? And he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. And he took six hundred chosen chariots and all the chariots of Mithraim, and captains over all of them. And Yahweh made strong the heart of Paro, king of Mithraim, and he pursued after the children of Yisrael. For the children of Yisrael went out with a high hand, and the Mithraim pursued after them, all the horses and chariots of Paro, and his horsemen, and his army, and overtook them encamping by the sea beside Pihahiroth before Baalistaphon. And when Paro drew near, the children of Yisrael lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Mithrim were marching after them, and they were afraid, and the children of Yisrael cried out to Yahweh. And they said to Moshe, Because there were no graves in Mithraim, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? For what reason hast thou dealt thus with us, to bring us forth out of Mithraim? Is not this the word that we spoke to thee in Mithraim, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Mithraim? For it were better for us to serve the Methrim than that we should die in the wilderness. And Moshe said to the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of Yahweh, which he will work for you today. For the Methrim whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. Yahweh will fight for you, and ye, ye shall be silent. And Yahweh said to Moshe, For what reason criest thou to me? Speak to the children of Yisrael that they go forward, and lift thou up thy rod, and stretch out thy hand over the sea, and divide it. And the children of Yisrael shall go into the midst of the sea on dry ground, 
And I, behold, I will make strong the hearts of the Mithraim, and they shall go in after them. And I will get me honor upon Paro, and upon all his host, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the Mithraim shall know that I am Yahweh, when I have gotten me honor upon Paro, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the messenger of God, who went before the camp of Yisrael, removed and went behind them, and the pillar of cloud removed from before them, and stood behind them. And it came between the camp of Mithraim and the camp of Yisrael, and there was the cloud and the darkness, yet gave it light by night, and the one came not near the other all the night. And Moshur stretched out his hand over the sea, and Yahweh caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Yisrael went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. And the Mithrim pursued and went in after them into the midst of the sea, all Paro's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it was in the morning watch that Yahweh looked forth upon the host of the Mithrim through the pillar of fire and of cloud, and discomfited the host of the Mithrim. And he took off their chariot wheels, and they drove them heavily, so that the Mithrim said, Let us flee from the face of Yisrael, for Yahweh fighteth for them against the Mithrim. And Yahweh said to Moshe, Stretch out thy hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Mithrim, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moshe stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its strength when the morning appeared, and the Mithrim fled against it, and Yahweh shook off the Mithrim in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned, and covered the chariots and the horsemen, even all the host of Paro that went in after them into the sea. There remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Yisrael walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. Thus Yahweh saved Yisrael that day out of the hand of the Mithrim, and Yisrael saw the Mithrim dead upon the seashore. And Yisrael saw the great work which Yahweh did upon the Mithrim, and the people feared Yahweh, and they believed in Yahweh and in his servant Moshe.